Um, and now we're actually going to be talking about um, like user references to know, um, basically because um, um, what that means is basically we want to be able to or like on our you know project scope. Let's say there's these agents, right? And these are actually have multiple agents, so that's going to complex things. But um, there's people that are involved with this particular, you know, real people with real contact details um, for this particular property, right? <clears throat> so now um, w when we left off. Um, we were just doing these images. Um, I've also, I've I've did this, you know, type equals land or whatever. So what I'm what I did here is just um, in this type, I changed this um, to a select. If I select like a house, let's say, and I hit save, I'm gonna say number of bedrooms is five. Hit save. Now I'm going to see. <coughs> Basically, if I change it to house, then you know, house or unit or whatever, then it's going to have my little cool displays of um, of of number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms. So it's going to be number of that parking spot. It's going to be three, just to show you that this is controlled by this save. Yep. Or if you know this is type say land, um, you know, obviously you don't want to have those in your template. So we just scroll on down, and they're not even there. Um, <coughs> so that's the kind of thing that we can do. But I like to see my little, my little things. So I'm gonna put me a house. Yep. Roll on down. Save. And so now I get my little things. And how I did that was again, you know, I just made some uh, container. You know, made class. Got some images with my CSS, gave background images, and then went through and echoed <coughs> those values. Pretty simple stuff. And then basically I went, you know, p-type equals that. If p-type equals house, you could obviously do a switch statement or whatever, and that's probably what it'll end up doing. So this is just a quick example of hiding and not hiding template elements based on a web, um, web form selections. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add um, user references. So a long time ago, we added Bob and Jane, right? And those are our users, Bob and Jane. So I'm going to click Bob. And now I'm logged in as Bob. Why did I do that? I got to log out. Yeah, sorry. So I logged in. So we got Bob and we got Jane. Yeah. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to configuration people and we're going to go account settings. And because of entity, we can now attach other fields to um, the user profile or the user element. So obviously username and password, but what, pa um, pas password. But what we're going to need, um, e you know, your username, email, and password, time zone. So um, obviously we're going to need phone. Um, phone. So we'll select. Let's go um, text text field, we're going to hit save, we're going to hit save, and it's going to be a required field, um, because we need that display on user register, uh, required field, it's going to display on there, enter your public, phone number, okay, um, and we're just looking at like this is all like oh they have like a Facebook thing I'm not gonna do the Facebook thing oh uh, they have a first name and last name though all right so let's just go display name yep so that can be the first name and the last name all in one whoa where's my mouse and it's gonna be type text 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 field save display name name and it's going to be required it's a required field number of values yep so we got display name we got phone um, we got user we could go user picture if we wanted to because these guys have like these like these little like image dudes. Um, what the hell? Let's do it. Rep image. Yeah. 
and it's going to be type image, image, we're going to hit save, rep image, public file, save, rep image, um, help text, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just saying, default directory rep, maximum is 5, MB, enable alt, yep, no, no, I don't need that. Play file number values. Yeah, it can be one. And I'm gonna make. I'm gonna. I didn't tick it. Um, I didn't tick required <coughs> because of um. Just because I like if they don't have it, they don't have it. So. <coughs> so now um, we're gonna have to go back to our people. Right, and there's Jane. Um, we're gonna look at Bob here. And we're gonna edit Bob. And that's his just his normal profile. Um, display name. It's gonna be. Bob James. I, I don't know. Phone number is going to be some fives. Like, there's no validation in this <laughs> right now because we didn't actually set up a validation rule for these particular forms. Um, what's the zero two? There you go. Uh, okay, rep image. If we have one, we'll do it. He's not going to have one. And then view. There's Bob. His phone number. No one's going to see this particular page, um, but what we're going to do is show you how we can reference this person to a node. Yeah. So um, there's that one. Also, we can um, people. Um, where's Jane? Five. Two. <laughs> yep. All right. So now they have some information in there, and that's good. So we're going to do that. We're going to go over to Project References, um, and we're going to grab that latest module. We're going to download it. I've downloaded it, and there it is. And we added it to my Sites All Modules folder. So let's get rid of that, and we'll roll on down here, and we'll find User References. Yep. So we need user references, yeah, node references, to uh, touch references. Uh, eh, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna go node references, and then I'm gonna hit save. Mm -hmm. So that's saving. Okay, now that that's saved, let's um, go up over here structure back to st um, structure content types property manage fields um, now we're going to uh, field type user reference um, select list field agent user roles that can be referenced agent status is user statuses that can be referenced I don't know what that is active blocked active I guess they have to be active or blocked I guess maybe you don't want them on there yeah views users uh, yeah, I don't want to use views for this particular thing agent and it's going to be required field yep Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to hit edit. <laughs> Roll it on down. And there's my agent. Now I have Bob. Bob, you're there. You could probably have it multi select, I guess. Um, and then we're going to go down here. And then it has Bob. And then it'll have a link to Bob. But I, again, do not want, um, do not want that to display like that. Because that's crazy and I. You know, well, it's not crazy. I just, I guess, I just don't like the default. I want something like this. Yeah? So, um, let's go back to the good old fashioned manage display. And we're going to go to agent. We're going to go hidden. And we're going to go hidden. Yep. Yeah, so they're going to be gone. And we're going to hit save. And we're going to go back to manage fields. And we're going to go to field agent. We'll grab that one. 
um, field agent. I'm just throwing it into a bit of a code snippet here to grab it. And now I'm going to go back to my template file. Right, so there's my image gallery. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to put it here. I will say div agents. And then I'm going to say that. I want to just echo that out. Right, so nothing happened there, so I have to var dump. All right, so we'll just go var dump. Side index value, I think, uh, yeah, okay, I don't know, zero, UND, zero is two, access, true, okay, so it's, it's giving me, um, the UND value, and that's what I am after, so let me, why is that, array, UND, zero, UND, yep, Okay, so string two. Okay, so basically, that what that means is it's setting, it's giving me the ID of that user. So I'm going in here, user reference, and I'm going, oh, no, I'm going to my people. And if I roll over Bob, and I roll over here, I can see that he is user ID number two. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. Now, um, because we have that user ID, um, we can do things with it. Alright, and now I'm going to do that by going user ID equals that that value that we just grabbed um, and then I'm just saying the user which is a new user object um, and the Drupal function of user load and then passing in that ID and then I'm just var dumping the user and I get this crazy array um, and I'm just going to look at the source because it's not and now you can see his mail um, you know you can see his name um, you can see you know again email field phone so we want to get his phone number and his I guess display name I right, can just knock it up so now we can kind of access them in the same way here because we have that user load so we have the user um, field display name u and a zero value and then it will break and then echo phone the user field phone u and a um, value All right so we're just going to save those and we're going to Refresh this template, so now we can get Bob James and the guy's phone number. Um, but that's um, kind of cool. So now what we're gonna do, um, you know, basically I like this. Um, let me just inspect this element here. What? Well, let's have a look. Button. Yep. What do they got on the go here? All right. Cool. So email agent. So let's make an email agent button. So what does it do? Okay, it pulls up a little shadow box with a form in it. Alright, cool. Alright, let's do that. Good old bootstrap. Just threw in a link. Um, gave like a question to AID. Echoes that. It's like giving some button danger. And then, um, yeah, refresh that. And now we can email agent. It doesn't work yet um, because we have to make the form and we have to install a light box and yada yada yada. However, um, you can see that we're going to get there. Um, so anyway, let's uh, move on to the next tutorial where we're going to be discussing um, um, the basics of views. Um, just to you know, switch you know, switch it up a little bit from theming to um, views, and maybe block, and maybe making your views block, and then probably programmatically calling in views. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and make our, our custom, our web form 
um, module that is going to send when they click this button send to this guy's email the contact form dynamically so we're we're get we're getting there anyway i'll see you in the next tutorial